after 18 long months of silence. The sound of applause is lifting Broadway. The crowds went wild as theaters along the Great White Way were filled at 100% capacity last night. After 18 long months, Broadway is back in business. Woo! Inside Edition digital reporter Lee Sheps had exclusive backstage access as the cast of Chicago prepped for their big night. It's showtime. Hey, Inside Edition, Broadway is back. For Broadway stars like Lily S. White, the shutdown felt like forever. It was tough. It was tough. It was depressing. And, you know, part of me was waiting for the other shoe to drop you know, whatever that was going to be. Now they're back and ready to bring all that jazz to audiences. To hear that roar of the crowd. It feels good. It feels good to know that theaters are open, that we can give to people what they need. People need the arts. Theater goers have never been happier. Without Broadway, there's no New York City. Audience members had to show proof of vaccination. Masks were mandatory. I've never felt safer going into a theater. I'm super excited. Lin-Manuel Miranda celebrated with a sing-along outside the theater where his hit Hamilton is playing. It's up to you, New York, New York. From Hamilton to Wicked. It's good to see me, isn't it? And the Lion King. Broadway is back, baby. And it feels so good. It's estimated that the pandemic shutdown cost Broadway $140 million in ticket revenue. And check this out. It's a new glass elevator that will take you 1,200 feet above Manhattan in only 42 seconds. Allison Hall got to take a ride on the one Vanderbilt skyscraper. And boy, does it have some amazing views of New York.